My next question is regarding the word God, because I feel there's a lot of misunderstanding about what actually is God, and I would like you to um, share with the uh, share with us what exactly does the Sanatan Dharma mean by God, and how does a realized master experience God? Two questions in length. According to Sanatan Dharma, what is God? And okay. How do you experience So now, I can tell you about myself. Nobody can at any time describe God. For thousands of years, people have been trying to disprove God all the atheists and the Gnostics, they've been trying to disprove God and they have failed. For thousands of years, yogis and men have been trying to intellectually prove God. They have also failed because I know that God is not a subject of intellectual speculation. God is that the being of direct realization is not a subject of intellectual speculation. You have to sit down, practice the necessary means to achieve God and experience Him. This is the most important thing. So He cannot be described perfectly in any dharma, whether it's the Christianity or Islam or Sanatan dharma or uh, Buddhism. We point the way we try to tell you an idea of what God is, but no one can really describe Him in His entirety. So in one of my poems I've said, This world is but a thoughtfulness of myic atoms intertwined, whose electrons are energy of light essence sublime. I start my poem like this. Then I go on to a page, I'm, I'm not saying the poem, but picking out verses. This world our sages did perceive is mind stuff materialized. In relative sequence it is built, deceiving mortal eyes. All that is composed they knew must get decomposed. Where then does reality lie, all matter being composed? When I say supreme reality, I mean God. I don't use the word God. It's very blasé. It's become very common. All that is composed, they knew, must get decomposed. Where then does reality lie, all matter being composed? Then the yogi in his limited words, he tells you what God is. All that is composed, they knew, must get decomposed. Where then does reality lie, all matter being composed? Then he says, that all-pervading consciousness of stillness through eternity must of necessity proclaim its ultimate reality. All that is composed they knew must get decomposed. Where then does reality lie, all matter being composed? Then he says that all-pervading consciousness of stillness through eternity must of necessity proclaim its ultimate reality, composed of nothing, Yet of which all else is sure composed, it stands supreme, beyond all dreams, eternally reposed. This is my description or pointer to what God may be. <laughs> There's no religion. The Christian, the Hindu, the Muslim, the Parsi, the priest, the, the pauper, the king, everyone can accept this explanation. Yes. Because we are not stuck on names. They ask me, what do you experience, Guru Nath, as Dhyan? I'm not telling what the, the Sanatan Dharma says and all, because it says very, very similar to what my experience is. So it's, what do you experience? Nirvikalpa Samadhit Gelyanantar Gaya Tum Sanubhavai Guru Nath. What do you experience, Guru Nath, when you go to the higher state of Nirvikalpa Samadhi? So then I've made a little uh, poem which Shivraj has sung very beautifully. <coughs> Mahadhyanana sthanana nadana bind. There is no time, space and causation there. 
वहां ध्यान अन स्थान अन नाद न बिंद आकाश नहीं वहां काल कहा देर इज नो टाइम नो स्पेस नो स्पेस टाइम कंटिन्यू सब शून्य अशून्य का हैपन है एवरीथिंग इज द इजनेस ऑफ द जीरो नॉट जीरो ईश्वर भी निरंकार वहां इवन गॉड इज विदाउट एट्रीब्यूट फॉर्मलेस एंड प्योर अवेयरनेस वहां ध्यान अन स्थान अन नाद न बिंद आकाश नहीं वहां काल कहा सब शून्य अशून्य का हैपन है ईश्वर भी निरंकार वहां अलख निरंजन नोम शिवोम अलख निरंजन नोम शिवोम absolutely sublime yeah. absolutely sublime i really got that that it is a subliminal experience beyond time and space and form and it is it is an experience it is to be ex- felt in here it is to be known and there's nothing else to describe it other than the way that you've just done it <laughs> you cannot really describe god because i've made efforts in my poetry are you all okay with the english yes then stiller than stillness itself then st- stiller than stillness itself with bated breath i do behold i'm trying to describe god i'm getting an experience of god now <laughs> just just look i'm getting an experience of god i'm trying to describe him ha huh? nirgun nirakan experience i'm trying to describe then stiller than stillness itself with bated breath i do behold my rising self sun's nectar gold i dissolve in that mystery untold you cannot gunge ka gun hai bhagwan ki when you get to that stage you're gone you're too much in bliss to describe anything he says it's coming coming my rising self sums nectar cold till then there is there is name and form there's nectar there's gold there's a sun but that is in sabikal samadhi then the moment i enter god the nirvikalp or nirvij samadhi i dissolve in the then i then these lines i dissolve in that mystery and told is my hopelessness to describe the ultimate reality now there's another one i made if you try to analyze god or think you will go all topsy turvy your head will be on on the floor your your feet will be up on your head and you will be a total confusion <laughs> but i will tell you one thing if you try to describe god and trying to knowing god for here your feet upon your head your head is humble to the floor for here your feet upon your head your head is humble to the floor the awful mystery you your ask no more you yourself are god here's another way of putting it after that i am in bliss here i have i i i have no words um that explanation and that experience that transmission that you just provided was i would say mind blowing and piercing and actually deeply piercing through i feel it in my heart center here it's deeply piercing that experience that you had you've transmitted and uh, and i and i'm present to that good keep it up 